Detroit Dead 313, Detroit Lions fans, we are one day closer, one breath closer to Lions playoff game Sunday night. You already know who's coming to town. You already know Matt Stafford's coming. Mr. Nice Guy. We're going to talk a little bit about it, but before we do, hit that subscribe button. William, how are you feeling about Matt Stafford coming coming home, some people are saying? Homecoming. I am feeling the same. Absolutely terrified. Uh, I got a feeling that he's going to come to Detroit and throw for 4,000 yards. I keep saying it, but Hey, it's going to be a losing effort. Like I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't feel any, any type of way about the game itself. I'm just worried about Stafford just putting his cape on and, and throwing that ball around. What you thinking? Here's what concerns me is like I said, I just used the words homecoming and a lot of people are saying, Oh man, I can't wait to see Matt Stafford come home. This is not homecoming for Matthew Stafford. This needs to be a place of hell for him yeah. Sunday night. This needs yeah. to be this needs to be an absolute lion's den. No pun intended, but you do not come in here on Sundays and win football games. You do not come here on Sunday nights and the playoffs and win football games. This is not Matthew Stafford's home anymore. What concerns me is Matthew Stafford's per- personality is what concerns me, Will. Yeah. And, and, and I'll say this. What I mean by that is, you know, in in all the interviews, he's saying all the right things like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm excited for the city of Detroit. They got their, you know, they're playing really good football right now. He is compassionizing, if that's even a word. I think I might have just made up a new word there, but it sounds good. Compassionizing. I knew what it meant. He's compassionizing these Lions fans. Yeah. If if his philosophy and I'm, I'm not even saying he's doing this on purpose, but if his answers are just making people just be a little quieter. When they're in the huddle, it's a problem with this Ford field. It needs to be a place of hell for Matthew Stafford for four quarters on Sunday night. Steve William, are you familiar with a guy named Tom Brady? Never heard of him. Uh, this, this guy, he, he's one of the greatest quarterbacks of all times, if not just the goat. And he's talked about, I'm sure you've heard, but for people who may not know, he talked about the mental warfare that he used to play on other franchises um, from their fans to their players, right. To their coaching staffs, he would come over and he'd shake your hand and he'd ask you how your kids were doing. And if you participated in pleasantries with him before the game, he said this, he said it, he said, Oh, got him. It's over. Got him. Fuck your kids. That's what I got. (laughs) And these are guys that have, would it Stafford do the whole time he was in Detroit? Detroit was a nightmare at times. He was running for his life. His back and neck were broken. He never went up there and said, guys, it sucks. I wish I could stop getting hit. My back is broken. I hate it. I don't want to show up. Never did he ever. He just said, hey, hey, we just, we just got to do better. Hey, we just. We just got to keep trying, guys. He's a killer, guys. He says the right things. Yeah. It, 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 I, he's not doing it on purpose. It's yeah. just you're right. Like he's he's playing mental warfare and he's not even doing it on purpose. Yeah. But I'm so sick of seeing Lions fans say, oh, man, Matt Stafford's coming home. This is not his home anymore. Hey, this is Jared I, Goff's home. Hey, I'm good with it still being home for Matthew Stafford, right? Like this is this will always be a home type deal. But here's what we got to understand, man. You raise kids. I have boys. I raise my boys, right? I'm raising my boys to be men, right? But this is always my house, right? Like it. it just I don't know you, about that, actually. Yeah, yeah, no, you like little William has doesn't even have a shot either. I know where you're going with this, but listen. Here's what I'm gonna tell you. So you get six foot four and you get huge and all of this stuff. When you come into daddy's house, this is daddy's house. Now this will always be home for you. Warm kumbayas, all of that stuff, but. When you come into daddy's house, daddy runs this thing. And that's what we need to make sure that Matt Stafford's un- Matt Stafford understands. But I have one problem with what's going on in Detroit right now. We have to play the mental warfare the same way that he's playing the mental warfare. And I feel like we've already made a mistake with this. Did you see the banning of Stafford jerseys, the jersey ban? Yeah, it was like, about an hour after we talked about it the last episode that I said that I don't want to see Matthew Stafford jerseys. Yeah, on and Sunday. then. And then Kelly Stafford started getting in the mix. I don't know if you saw that. She was just, oh, wow, I don't understand why you guys would do that. We gave our heart and soul to the city and blah, blah, blah. The last thing you want 
is Matthew Stafford seeing something or his wife going home and telling him she feels disrespected and to go get him, baby, kick their butts. Uh, no, but don't give him any bulletin board stuff. Let him walk in, give him a hug, tell him you love him. And then all of a sudden make him wonder why you're yelling, aid and kill him. Yeah. And that ball, yeah. That ball starts <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Lions fans really understand what's happening. Like, no. uh, have you seen Alex Anzalone's comments or not comments? His, his his request, I should say. I didn't listen. He said when the when the Los Angeles Rams are huddling, that's when we need you guys to be loud. Not when they break for the huddle or they come to the line while they are huddling. You need to, that's when we need you guys to be loudest. We need to have some communication problems on their end. That's how we're going to get false starts or some or some blown plays. Like it, it starts as the second you see. Matthew Stafford huddling up that like balls in the air crowds are going to be rocking Matt Stafford. If we, if they get the ball first, that that's when it needs to start. I'm, I'm just, I can't watch this Matt Stafford coming home. Like this is not his home anymore. This is, this is needs to be a place where we put him out the pasture for at least the season. I, what I need people to understand is this Matt Stafford, Sean McVay, Cooper Cup, I don't know much about Puka Nakua yet, but he must be on the same page because he's having a lot of success. These guys are football little geniuses. And what do football geniuses need? They need to be able to communicate. So, I mean, I, I totally get it 100%. If you look at the little quote that Cooper Cup said a season ago, actually two seasons ago, when he, they asked him what the play was, that he ran where he caught a back shoulder touchdown and he chimed off this just paragraph of a play that had all types of ups and downs. And it was, it was just nuts. And people were like, Whoa. Right. So, but what they got to be able to do is make all of those little adjustments, man. And if they can't hear, if they can't communicate all that wizard street, wizard tree comes down to let's just get in the trenches and play football. And that's when we're great. Nobody is just showing up and just running the football down Detroit's throat. We're, we have a great run defense throughout this season. Knock on wood. Hopefully I'm not jinxing anything, right? But that I'm not worried about it. They talk about Kyron Williams and he's coming on and they got this pounding running game now and blah, blah, blah. Hey, listen, I, I if that's what we got to deal with, I'm fine. What I don't want to do is deal with Stafford coming to the line and doing 87 checks and then chucking this ball up and all over down the field. Yeah, it's going to like the Lions fans are going to play a, a factor in this game yeah. one way or another. And, and I'll say this. Um, Matthew Stafford is a killer. He is coming here to end the Detroit Lions season. He's going to shake hands afterwards. And, you know, that's just sportsmanship. But during that game, Matthew Stafford has one thing on his mind, winning this football game, ending the Lions season and going on and trying to win another Super Bowl. So I, go ahead. I was just going to say, I will say this, though, and this I, I believe this in my heart of hearts. He knows what we're going through in, in his heart, heart of hearts. And he, I think that there's a space in his mind that could concede to a beating. And what I mean by that is if we start applying the pressure, if we go get a lead, if we go and he just starts to feel this thing, he starts to feel us screaming, to just go get him and crush him. And well, I think that there, there has to be a little piece of him that would be like, hey, man, I got my Super Bowl. Maybe this just isn't our time. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for those guys, man, but just don't let him get any blood in the water. Don't let him villainize us. Like, don't give him any reason. Every, everything is great. Keep it kumbaya. Wear your Matt Stafford Jersey. Like don't, don't ban the jerseys. Don't, don't give him anything for the bulletin board. Hey, when, before the game guys cheer for this man before the game, let him know. We love him. Like draw his compassion in. And then when that they snap that football and the clock starts, kill him. And, you know, you know what I think would be the best uh, possibility. Very first play of the game, or very first passing game for the Ram play for the Rams. Aiden Hutchinson gets a sack. I, yeah. Just, just set the tone right off the rip. Just let them know, like, hey, this isn't your, this isn't your fucking home anymore. This is my house now. I, 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 I got one better than that. To me, I, I just see. I want him to see Aiden Hutchinson coming around on his um, throwing side. Right, so he sees him. He's oh shoot, here comes Aiden, and he spins out, and here comes Melifonwu on a de delayed blitz, and he just lets him know what today's going to be like. 
Like that would be my dream. And then Aiden finished the game with a couple sacks. We 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 throw the party. We have a defensive phenomenal game. We play four great quarters of football. Like, but yeah, I I, I agree. Sack back Stafford hit him early in the game. Let him know what it's gonna be. And then after this game, I, I I've said it a bunch of times. I'm a Stafford guy, man. Like, I I wasn't crazy. Like, you know, just Stafford is the greatest quarterback. Blah blah blah. Whatever. But I love what he did for the city. I, I love the guy. What he did for the Detroit Lions. But Sunday. As you said, he's an enemy. I hate him. Yeah. I hate him for, for at least this week. Don't even drive a Ford F-150 into the stadium. You don't even deserve to drive a Ford anymore. Yeah. That's how I that's how I look at Matthew Stafford. Um, off topic question, just real quick, without doing a full, you know, in-depth thing. The the only two things that really scare me for the Rams are Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua. How do you think we're gonna match up and, and be able to handle them? Uh, I think we match up great, man. I think that <coughs> a, a safety can match up with Puka because Puka is just a big physical guy. Like he is a 50-50 ball guy. He's not a guy that's just killing you with his route running prowess. He's uh, to me, he's just a tough kind of like a Monra, man. He's a just tough, gritty receiver that gets it done. I love how our safeties match up with that from Melifon Yule to Brian Branch to CJ Gardner Johnson. Like, and I love Kirby Joseph back there playing center field on all of it. So now we got to get into can we deal with Cooper Cup and can we make Cooper Cup believe that he's not Cooper Cup anymore because he's kind of been quiet this year and the last thing we want him to do is wake up during these playoffs. I feel it. Hey, we're getting ready to do our game day episode here in a couple of days. You know, we're just waiting on some some injury report stuff to really come out so we can have a you know a, a more in depth show. Guys, we're gonna wrap this up. All I'm saying is Matthew Stafford is not coming here to be your friend. He's not coming here to shake hands and kiss babies. He's coming here to end the Detroit Lions season. So if 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 on your wish list is to see a Super Bowl before you die from the Detroit Lions, this is a chance. This is a damn good chance. So keep that in mind. We gotta have to. We gotta take Matthew Stafford and we gotta kill him. End of story. Like I, I I'm not trying to be mean or or uh you know throw shade at Matt Stafford. Hell of a career, Hall of Fame. But uh Sunday night he's coming in here to end our hopes. So. Hit the comment, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let us know. Are you team Stafford or are you team Lions? Because there's really only one side of the fence I want you standing on. So leave a comment and we'll be back later with some more content, guys. Peace.